Facebook Live, what's going on? Let's get into this uh, tender talk tonight. I hope you're all well. Let's um, try and get a few things sorted. Let's try and build the audience. Camera has been flipped. No, it doesn't look like I'm talking to the screen, but um, I am. It would be a bit hard to read the comments, actually. I'll probably have to read the comments on my laptop. This will um, help me, you know, interact with you guys a little bit more um, on this hot Tuesday. It seems to be every Tuesday we jump on this live, it seems to be extremely, extremely hot. So um, I just looked at it on the computer now. It's no good. So we'll have to hold it normal. All right. So we'll flip it back. Guys, let me know what you're up to, how was your day, hope you've enjoyed everything, I appreciate your time, taking out the time to spend with me um, here tonight, um, so it's been good, having some really good conversations, hope everyone's doing well, back into the swing of things now, um, 2017 is well underway, now we've got a bit of a short week this week as well too, so nevertheless, I hope you're all doing well, getting into it. Um, guys, if you're online, say hello, let me know what's up, um, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a share, um, you know, definitely say hello, let me know where you're watching from tonight, what he's up to, um, any questions you have, um, tonight's topic, we're going to talk about curb and footpath cutting, so that's what we will talk about, but feel free to put your input in there, um, drop me a line, anything you feel like you want to talk about, um, let's get into the conversation and let's um, make it happen. All right, let's just try and get a few more people into this and then we'll uh, get it moving. All right, guys, so say what's up, say hello and appreciate your time. All right, guys, so tonight, curb and gutter. Curb and gutter cutting in uh, more specific uh, topics. So... A lot of people may, um, you know, get their driveways in done uh, by the builder. So a lot of your tenders uh, may actually say that the driveway is actually included. Now, this is uh, the case in most scenarios, but um, just a few little tips. What we're going to share tonight is just some things that you need to look out for. Raise some questions so things don't um, come up a bit later on in the progress. Um, especially could be because obviously the driveway is going to get done towards the end of your house. So you don't want um, you know, any nasty surprises a little bit of time before you move in. BJ Blakey, boy, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well out there, guys. If you're online, say hello, say what's up, drop the questions, let's get it sorted. So yeah, back into the uh, cutting of the curb and gutter. Um, <clears throat> now, most of the time, they will have the driveway allocated for, but unless you kind of specify otherwise and other things that need requiring, um, certain things like um, a footpath. Now, if there is a footpath there, um, you may or may not have to actually cut that and redo new concrete. Now, um, definitely make your builder aware of uh, what the go is with your driveway. Is there a footpath uh, in the way? Some estates these days, they do have uh, footpaths on one side only, so you may not be affected uh, by the footpaths, but some estates do have footpaths on both sides, um, and you might be lucky enough where they're probably going to be doing the footpaths after you move in, so definitely something you want to consider. Um, for all the new guys on this, hello, welcome to tonight's live tender talk. Hope you're doing well. A um, little bit of advantage of being home, I get to uh, rock the shorts on, so it's been hot all day, been in the long pants all day, so... Finally get to get out of those boys and into some shorts and makes it a lot easier being at home um, doing this at home. So, yeah, it's comfortable. Guys, what are you up to? Hope you've enjoyed your day. Feel free to drop me a buzz. Any questions you want answered about anything in particular, let me know. I'll do my best to have them answered for you. Um, yeah, so back to the curb and guttering. So just for the new guys that are joined on at the moment, we're talking about uh, cutting curbs and cutting gutters uh, when you do your driveway. Now... Some of this sort of stuff, um, you know, may or may not be uh, known to you, but you can definitely tell if there's going to be a footpath in the way of your driveway. So that's one thing, because number one, you may have to cut the footpath, and then number two, you're going to have to remove it. So if you're going to have to remove a bit of concrete, um, this is...
the expense that you know you have to be uh, accounted for as well too. So it's worth you know find out a bit of stuff, um, speak to your builder, um, and find out you know if the footpath, sorry, if the footpath needs to be cut and removed, this will need to be sorted out. So just something to look out for. Also as well, another thing to look out for is the curb. Now, a lot of the new estates do have uh, the curb gutter uh, already installed. So this is actually quite good because it won't matter where your drive, driveway actually goes. Some estates, they may already have a, they might have a square curb and gutter and you're gonna have to cut a layback in. And some of them may have laybacks already actually cut into them. So this is another part of the equation that you need to look into. So you have one part where you're talking about the cutting of the concrete and the next part about the layback. Um, so just a welcoming all to the new people jumping online now. Um, hello, welcome to Tender Talk on this hot, hot Tuesday night. Actually, it is a lot cooler now. Um, if you're new here, say hello, say what's up. If it's your first time here, introduce yourself. I'd love to know who you are. Um, and I appreciate you taking out the time to join me um, tonight as well too. So yes, it's um, here with you and you, you stopped your time to spend some time here with me tonight. So going back to the cutting of the curb and uh, the layback. So you need to find out if you do have a, a curb and gutter, that's great. Um, you know, it'll be really good for you. Yes, Blake, I think I do need to go to bed. It's very, very hot and um, it's been a bit uh, hot at night and uh, the wife won't let me exactly crank the air conditioner extremely, extremely high like I like it because my young daughter. So, mm. so um, yeah, back to the curb and gutter. So, yeah, if you have a, a curb that's already done there, great. That'll work really well. Um, maybe you may have a preset layback, which is going to determine where your actually driveway needs to go. So then your layback will all already be cut in. So this is um, another good thing. Obviously, your builder will know where your driveway has got to go, but you may be doing a knockdown rebuild in an old area. Um, so more than likely, the older areas do have the, uh, thanks for the like, Amy. Appreciate it. They um, do have the, they do have the old square curb and gutter. So more than likely that this will have to be cut if the driveway is going to be in a new position to where the old layback is. So something you really, really want to take a look at um, you know, if you've got photos to show your builder during the early tendering stages, um, you know, that's great. Jamie, thanks for the like. You know, it's always, um, always good to do that. Guys, if you are on here, I do appreciate a thumbs up. You know anyone who's, um, you know, on here, Marcella, thanks for the like. I appreciate it. You want to share the video, tag someone who needs to know this. I really, really appreciate sharing the love because there probably are people that you may know who'd be interested in this sort of stuff or who needs to know. They might not even know themselves. So let them know. Share this uh, live sh um, post. Um, I'd really appreciate it. You know, if you do share it, let me know. Rob, thanks for the thumbs up. If you do share it, leave me a comment saying share. Thanks for the love. So yeah, back to the curb and guttering. So something that you really want to find out, take some photos. When you talk to builders in the early stages, it's worth just mentioning as well. So just recapping, guys, new guys that are coming on. George, thanks for the like. Appreciate the love. Um, new guys coming on. We're just talking about cutting the curb laybacks and gutters and driveways, footpaths. So you got any questions around this topic, drop me a buzz and we'll have a bit of a chat about it. So we just talked about before, talking about your footpath. Your footpath's gonna be in the way in your driveway. You may or may not have to cut and remove the existing footpath and replace it with your new driveway. So something that um, councils and, and different um, authorities like that will let you know this sort of stuff, but it is something to consider. Um, you know, the last thing you want to do is work out at the end of your projects that you have to cut and remove some concrete. So that's the topic there. And then also the layback, you might have to cut in a layback if you're on a new property. A lot of these new areas do have the curbs and a lot of the older areas more than likely will have the square curb and gutters. I actually have done a Simone TV episode about this. So once we uh, finish this live stream, I'll put a link in the comments for you guys to go back and watch that Simone TV episode where I talk about the curb and gutters um, and I talk about the square, the square curb as well too. So guys, for all the new guys joining me, um, thanks for joining me right now. I know it's a very hot night. Some of you could be elsewhere sitting in a pool, but you know, you're here spending time with me and I really, really appreciate all your guys' time, taking time to listen to me talk about, uh, you know, things that you're going to find in your tender. So guys, um, you know, feel free to drop me a, a, uh, 
drop me a, what are you going to drop me? Rob, thanks for the like, mate. I appreciate the love. Feel free to drop me any comments. Guys, um, you know, head over to also Instagram, dansim412. Send me a DM. Um, site visits are going down over there as well too. Um, you know, stories, good stories happening on as well. T- tomorrow, we're going to head over for a site visit as well. We may go live. Rob, thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate your work. Terry, thanks for the thumbs up. Blake, hearts back out to you too, brother. All right, guys, I really appreciate everyone's time tonight. Um, join me next week, 8.30, no, sorry, 8 o'clock, Tuesday night for another live discussion of Tender Talk. Guys, feel free. I am picking topics for these nights, but I'm happy to leave it as an open discussion for you. If you have any questions you want me to answer, leave me a comment, send me a DM, Instagram, Snapchat, go over there, follow me. Um, communicate with me we'll try and get these topics answered and if you two want to start having some communications with each other in the comments sharing your stories about this scenario then uh, good on you guys as well too all right guys i appreciate your time tonight if you do know anyone who's going to find this topic very very helpful tag them in the comments below or share this post to them all right guys thanks for joining me on tonight's tender talk um we may be going live tomorrow about between 9 and 9.30, I'd say, for a site visit. And we'll see how we go there. The, the carpenters are on site, so we'll get over there and check that out. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on tonight's Tender Talk. I appreciate your attention. We'll see you guys next week. Stay safe. Bye for now.